Chicago's police department released a report today indicating they have made progress on meeting requirements of the consent decree. But critics are not convinced. WGN's Tanya Francisco has more on the story. Tanya. Micah and Ray, Chicago police say they are not where they want to be, but they want to convince residents that they are taking this consent decree seriously. Others say the proof is not there. In the 172-page report, Chicago police tout a 93% increase in the number of items submitted, including 241 hours of community engagement across 88 meetings and 112 new or revised policies on standard operating procedures. As the superintendent says, you can't get graded on your homework if you don't turn it in. Robert Boyk is the executive director of the Office of Constitutional Policing and Reform. He's in charge of making sure the reforms negotiated in the consent decree are carried out. It's a process that's been moving slowly. In June of last year, the monitor found the city had missed more than 70% of its deadlines in the first year. We are really focusing in on that effort now and really uh, trying to make the strides necessary to achieve the cultural change that's necessary in the department. Change cannot come fast enough to the city because lives are at stake. And we know that in the history of the city of Chicago. Policing can save lives and it can also take them away. New Surrette Chowdhury is the legal director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Illinois. She says CPD is giving a lot of lip service and confusing activity with accomplishment. She says on a number of occasions, the city has refused to speak with a coalition that includes the ACLU concerned about wrong house raids. We don't need to wait for the video of Anjanette Young's horrific experience to be made public. And the request to sit down and talk about those raids was made five months before that video came to public light. Civil rights attorney Tony Romanucci, who represents victims of police misconduct, issued a statement that reads in part, CPD is woefully deficient in its reforms and will not change until people continue to call them out or more people get unlawfully shot. Are we going to be 100 percent? No, but we're not going to be 100 percent until we're done. So I think, you know, this it really is a, a long. Really is a long haul is what he was uh, completing there. Boyd points out that other cities have taken anywhere from eight to 20 years to come into full compliance with a consent decree. We should find out in a few weeks how CPD is doing when the independent monitor issues her report. I'm live this evening from home, Tanya Francisco, WGN News.